All right, so my apologies for that. My video went a little weird, so I'm just going to upload two videos uh, for this particular date. Uh, the other thing that we're missing here is that symbol there. Now, let's remember what this symbol means, because that means the same thing as up here. These mean that it's a right angle. It's a 90-degree triangle. It's a right angle. So this distance here does not reflect the height. Since this is a right angle, these distances from here to here actually represent the height. And since they're the same, I can know that the height of the triangle is six. Okay, if one was taller than the other, that wouldn't work. But in this situation, I can see that the height of the triangle is six. And then I can see that uh, this distance right here is X. So I want to think now, how am I going to go about solving this? Well, remember for a triangular prism, it's length times width times height divided by two. So if I work backwards a little bit, I can say, well, I had to divide by two and I ended up with 162. So if I work backwards, I'm going to do the opposite of dividing by two and figure out where I was at before I divided by two. And I would do that by doing the opposite, 162 times two. Well, two times two is four. Two times six is 12. Put the two down, carry the one. Two times one is two plus one is three. I get 324. Okay, so now I know that length times width times height equals 324. All right, now I know that I have six here. I have six here, all right? And so it's gonna be six times six is 36. Now my height is X. Now if my length is six, then my width is six, Six times six is 36. That would leave me to believe that 36 times H equals 324. Okay? So now, to solve for H, I'm going to have to divide both sides by 36. 36H divided by 36 is going to equal H. And then I'm just going to have to think, okay, well, how many times can 36 go into 324. Well, if I do my division, I'm thinking about, well, that could round to 40, all right? And I use the smaller number four, and four can go into 32 eight times. So I come down here, and I try 36 times eight and see how that goes. Eight times six is 48. Put the eight down, carry the four. Eight times three is 24, plus four is 28. Well, that's a little ways away from 324. So to be safe, I'm going to try 36 times 9. Now, 9 times 6 is 54, so I'm going to put the 4 down and carry the 5. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 5 is 32. I get 324, and that's a match with up here. So that tells me that 36 can go into 324 9 times. And I like the way that works because there is none left over which means that H equals nine centimeters. And that's how we will solve those problems. All right, have a good day, sixth grade. I'm gonna to have to post both of these videos on here. And I will be available to help with this in class on Tuesday, April 21. Talk to you later, bye.